Do you want some Lego Wow? Do you want some Lego Wow? Do you want some Lego Wow? Today, I'm your host, Katie Wynn, and our special guest is Sia. Sticky! Sluggy! Slimy! Slug Slime! Have you ever touched slug slime? What about banana slug slime? This is a banana slug, and I'm going to touch one for the first time. Wow, slugs are so cool. We didn't have banana slugs where I grew up in Minnesota, but we have a lot here in Oregon. It's so sticky on my hand. You can see its eye coming out. I don't want to hold it very long because I don't want to hurt it. Always treat wild animals with respect. The slug left slime all over my hands. Slime hands. It's super sticky and stretchy. And it feels really strong too. Slime is so weird and interesting. You know who loves slime? My friend Sia. Hi, Sia. Hi. Can you tell what I am today? A banana slug. Very nice. I am a slug. Look at me. I'm looking at you. I'm looking in two different directions. <laughs> what do you think you and slugs have in common? We both have slime. Excellent, yes. You and slugs are expert slime makers. I love slime because uh, it's, satis it's satisfying to make. It's also fun to play with, and it gets rid of some of my stress. Wow, I'm learning about slime already. Yeah. Let's observe slugs for a moment. So why do you think slugs use their slime? I think they use it to lay trails sometimes, and it helps them move and get up stuff, and it keeps the, it hydrated. Excellent. Loving that vocab. I'm hoping to make some slime today, and I hear that you're an expert in making slime. Yeah. But before we get started, I'm just going to slip it to something a little more comfortable, so just give me just a moment, okay? Good idea. Ah, that's more like it. Now I'm ready to make some slime. If you try this, make sure you have a grown up with you. First you're gonna need a half a cup of glue, half a cup of clear glue. All right. Next you need half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda with uh, half a cup of warm water. All right, so I mixed the Water and the baking soda, right? Until uh, you don't see any of the baking soda like mine. You should pour that in. Okay. Um, and then you need some saline solution. Pour it in. And after you pour it in, you can mix it. And then when it's fully mixed, you should add, you can add some full food coloring. When it looks like there's no water left on the outsides? That's when it's ready? Pretty much. Can we add some food coloring now? Yep. What color are you using yellow too? Yeah. Oh, wow, that changes the color really fast, huh? Mm-hmm. It's just slime sliming. Can you look at this and let me know if you think it needs more water or anything else? That looks good. Ooh, I'm excited. <gasps> oh, wow. My dad doesn't like slime. It does have a very interesting feeling to it. It almost feels it almost feels like my hands are dirty, even though they're not really. It can feel like it's warm, but it's not. It can feel like it's cold, but it's not. And one thing I learned is that slugs make their slime differently. Their bodies produce little dry mucus pellets. So when the slugs and their dry mucus pellets come into contact with the water in their environment, that is what makes the slime. Wow, this is amazing. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to the slime. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
at us, Sia, making slime like a couple of slime superstars. This is amazing. I just feel it building up inside of me. I just feel a change coming. I just gotta say. It's time to test this slime. What do you think will happen? Let's predict what'll happen. How far do you think we can stretch our slime, like a slime trail, before it breaks? I measured the slime trail we made, and it went all the way around the rug. It started off really fat, and by the end it got so skinny. It measured over 13 feet long, and I bet we could have stretched it even farther. What? Slug slime helps slugs move. Do you think that our slime is slick enough to help a toy slug move over a pile of rough, jagged rocks? Show a thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. And they're off. Slug on the dry rocks on top. Slug on the slimy rocks on the bottom. Slimy slug pulling ahead. It's a close race, but slimy slug for the win. Slug slime helps slugs stick to tall things like trees and rocks. Do you think that our slime is sticky enough to stick to the wall if I throw it there? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. And finally, just for fun, do you think our slime is sticky enough to stick on my face like a beard or mustache? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Our homemade slime is similar to slug slime in some ways and different in other ways. There are so many amazing types of slime in the world. How will you test your slime? Mega Wow! Hair? Shoot. My hair's okay. Skin feels weird. This bro studios. <laughs>